so excited. Felicia coming to you. Week four. Week four was great. We did silly hair. We had pizza. And we did some great stuff in foundations. So I'm excited to share with you uh, all the good stuff we learned. Okay, for timeline. And I said it. They echoed me. And we did that seven times. We did it fast. We did it slow. We added some workout with it. Um, I did a little bit of the signs, but I'm not doing the signs for the timeline because as you know, for the end of the year project, we're doing the preposition song. So that's how we did the timeline. And then for math, we did the sevens and the eights. Um, we did fruits and vegetables. I have these shaped circles that I've made and then I've gone to Dollar Tree and I bought some flat, um, fruit like apples and, uh, tomatoes, I guess. And I also have some three-dimensional fruit. I had I have four golf balls, and I wrapped them in construction paper so that they would not be painful if they got thrown. So I wrapped them real tight in construction paper in four different colors. I didn't even put those out, but I do have those available. That's part of the fruit and vegetables. And what the kids did, I had a basket at one end of the room. I had the fruit at the front end, the basket at the back. I divided the class into two teams. One of our one of our boys was missing, so it was a four against four while the song was playing and each each uh like the sevens the song plays uh twice the kids had to come up and grab fruit and fill the basket one fruit at a time come up grab it put it in the basket come up grab it put it in the basket while the song played and me and the parents were singing the song so we did that for sevens i had team one go first and team two second for the sevens and then for the eights we had team two go first and team one go second. So we spoke it without the music. We sung it kind of without the music. And then with each instance, the song repeats the skip counting twice. So we did it twice without the music, talking it, kind of singing it or echoing. And then we did it four times with the music. Um, so that's one, two. Then we did it four times with the music because each team Team one did it and it says it twice. Team two did it, it says it twice. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six times. And then uh, seven times. We did that both for sevens and eights. It took about five, six minutes. It was great. The kids got some energy out and it was wonderful. So just tear up some pieces of paper, throw it on the floor if you want to do that at home. At home, also my daughter and I use a ball. We'll uh, throw a ball at one another and we recite the timeline song that way. The skip counting song. <laughs> Forgive me. Okay, for history, what did I do? Oh, for history, that's right. The the seven wonders of the ancient world. What are the seven wonders of the ancient world? Pyramids of Giza. For Pyramids of Giza, this is the sign. And then the second one was uh, is Hanging Gardens at ba of Babylon. Hanging Gardens of Babylon. And we really hung them. We really shook. Of course, with guys, it's easy to shake one. The third one. Uh, temple of Artemis at Ephesus. I put temple. I did a fist with an A handshake. Two of those. Non-dominant. The non-dominant hand is the vertical. The dominant hand, which is the hand the child writes with, is the top. Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. And we kept it there. And we kind of bounced it. Because the music uh, gives us time. Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. Forgive me for not remembering the music. Exactly. Let's see. Then uh, the statue of Zeus at Olympia. Then the statue of Zeus, I, as the song is singing, statue of Zeus at Olympia. So we do the Z in the air with a fist, and then we go straight up, because I think of Olympics and Olympia. So that's how we did statue of Zeus. And then mausoleum of Helicarnassus. Heli <laughs> Praise God. The sign, this is an M, three fingers. Bend them over your bend them over your thumb as my thumb is poking through. You don't have to poke your thumb through, just three fingers. M muse museum. M. What did I do? So it's um oh, mausoleum at Helicarnassus. I just said it sounds deep, so I went muscle mausoleum at Helicarnassus. Like, am I saying that word right? Helicarnassus. So you kind of cringe. That's the sign. And then last but certainly, oh, two more. That's right. Pharaoh's Lighthouse at Alexandria. We just played around because we had enough time and we did the lighthouse. We moved in a circle. That's it. Cute. And of course, the light is moving. You can move it or you can keep it still, but just turn around in the circle. And then 
and Colossus of Rhodes, and we we popped into it. Colossus of Rhodes, boom. So that is the history. For Latin, the Latin has been the same from week one, uh, week two, from the beginning of, oh, no, no, no. For the last two weeks, the Latin has been the same. So I'm going to try to remember how to say it. Ah, I, I, shucks. There's a song. Ah, I, A-E says I, and then I, um, uh, that A with a, with a line over it is, uh, A, it sounds like a U. So it's, ah, uh, I, I, um, uh, and I usually go, oh, to emphasize <laughs> so that they can really see what that A with that, uh, hyphen over it means. And then for, that is the singular first declensions, the plural first declensions, which comes right after they sing the singular. I aurum, the A with the line, A-R-U-M, says aurum, like, kind of like aurum, saying aurum, arm with uh, a drawl. So it's I aurum, is, os, is, us, A with the, to the hyphen, us, and then is, like geese, is the I with the hyphen, S. So it's I orum is os is I orum is os is I orum is us is plural first declensions. So that's it for Latin. Now science. What are some parts of a plant cell? The nucleus. Nucleus. Hug yourself. Cytoplasm. Cytoplasm. Binoculars. Uh, vacuole. Vacuum. Let's see, mitochondria, boom, muscles, cell membrane. Oh, I the cell membrane. I did that. I did that different. Oh no, I did it. Cell membrane, covering your head, and then cell walls. Oh, you know what? I did cell membrane this time for week four. It was here for week three, but for week four I did cell membrane. I just kind of put a wall on the sides of us, and then cell walls when I push the walls forward. Kind of like the preposition song, but the walls are there. And then um, chloroplast, chloroplast. Oh, boom, I did amen. That's a sign for amen, the gavel going down. Chloroplast, it just sounds powerful, I did that. And then um, Golgi bodies, again, it's shaking your body. Golgi bodies. Okay, that is science. And now English, oh, here we go. The preposition song. I'm gonna do just this week's. Before, your palm is facing you like a mirror. You're looking in a mirror. Behind, you can put that hand right at your shoulder. Don't worry about putting it behind. You're going to superimpose. That's not comfortable. Put it right here, close enough. So your palm faces forward. Before, palm faces you. Behind, palm faces forward. So it's before, behind, behind below, below. So before, Behind, below, and then beneath is where you're gonna you're gonna do a um, step, step, and you're gonna drop, bend your knees a little when you go there. So before, behind, below, beneath, your step, step brings you no lower beneath, and then beside. You take your hands after sing, beneath with your feet. Your hands are gonna stay there. Then you take your hands to your side for beside. Pretty cool. So before. Behind, below, beneath, beside. Just take them both to your side. One more time. Before, behind, below, beneath, beside. And the song sounds pretty much like that. Okay, and then Hittite Empire. We're talking about geography. The Hittite Empire. The four locations, the four parts of the Hittite Empire. Hattusa, Asia Minor, the Arabian Desert, and Cyprus. Uh, there will be there are more locations in this jingle because in the event you continue, the hope is that you continue your child through classical conversations curriculum where they're going to be in challenge and they're going to be required to draw the map, the world uh, by memory. This visual gives them 
it, on it. I'm using my right hand specifically because it's as if I'm looking at the map. So the perspective is me looking at the map in the imaginary space in front of me. And my hands are going to show the location. Last week we did this with the Hebrew Empire. So the, the, you're seeing the map in your space. And so I'm going to use my hands to put uh, where the locations are. Okay, here we go. The Hittite Empire. And I'm using the jingle, but I'm not going to be singing it. I'm going to say it. All right. Hittite Empire. Hattusa, you see, the capital underneath the Black Sea. In Asia Minor, which is modern-day Turkey, bumps up against the Black Sea. Cyprus, an, an island that is pointy, eastern in the Mediterranean Sea. And the Arabian Desert makes a fine a fine sandwich between the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. How cool is that? So you've got you've got the Black Sea in there, you've got the Persian Gulf, which is located farthest east in this particular uh, Hittite Empire, and you've got the Red Sea. And what's in the middle of them? You've got these two, Persian Gulf, Red Sea, the Arabian Desert. Let me do it one more time. All right. The Hittite Empire. Hattusa, you see? The, mm -mm, shucks, forgive me. <laughs> Hittite Empire. Hattusa, you see? The capital, right, up, right underneath the Black Sea. In Asia Minor, known as modern-day Turkey, which bumps up right to the Black Sea. Cyprus is an island that is pointy, eastern in the Mediterranean Sea. And then the Arabian Desert makes a great sandwich between the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. So Cyprus, Hattusa is the capital of Asia Minor, which is... Uh, modern day Turkey. Now, the Black Sea is right above that. Cyprus is south in the Mediterranean Sea, furthest east, right under Asia Minor. And then the Arabian Desert is even further east between the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. So, let me do it one more time because I just want to make sure that I give you one good solid rendition. Hittite Empire, Hattusa, you see, the capital underneath the Black Sea. Asia Minor, also modern-day Turkey, bumps up against the Black Sea. Cyprus is an island that is pointy, eastern in the Mediterranean Sea. And the Arabian Desert makes a fine sandwich between the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. That's it for geography. Did I do it all? We did it all. Praise God. Thank you for your patience. I know this is long, but I really hope that this blesses you and your student. My job is to share with you, mom, teacher, dad, teacher, stick in the sand, best practices so that you can be successful at home doing the same thing. And then you can, you can expand on it as much as you like. Have a great week. We'll see you on Monday. Oh, by the way, it is still spirit week. I think it's pajama. Pajama days on Monday. So I'm wearing my pajamas. I wore my crazy hair Monday. I'm wearing my pajamas this Monday. Join me. Okay? Peace out. Shalom, shalom. <laughs>